So here we have all our ingredients for our lamb burgers. As you can see, we have red onion, garlic, uh, black pepper, salt, onion powder, rosemary, mint, dill, and onion powder, and of course, our lamb. So here you're going to add all your ingredients. Here you can see I'm struggling trying to get the mint out. Um, so I go get a spoon and I start to dump in all my seasonings. Everything can go in at once. That is the rosemary. As to say on the recipe, I say roughly chop, but I chop these a little bit finer. Um, but you can chop it um, as rough or fine as you want. Here I'm adding the um, garlic powder, making sure I get all of that out. Of course, you can see I love garlic powder. Not only did I add fresh, but I also added powder. Um, the salt can be um, according to taste. If you have um, health conditions, of course, we do not want to add too much salt um, because of high blood pressure and wanting to stay as healthy as possible. Um, I gave you the garlic, fresh garlic there, which is the star of the show. <laughs> and here I'm adding um, bread onion. I ended up using uh, the whole bowl of onion because I love onion in my lamb burgers. Right here, I will am um, mixing it up, making sure that all the seasonings and ingredients are getting all the way through. Excuse my bracelets because I forgot to take those off. Um, but of course, remove your jewelry before you cook. Um, so I won't get into the food. Here I am making my patties. Of course, you can make your patties as big or as small as you want. Um, and I am making, uh, I guess, pretty decent patties to cover the bun. And I am rounding them out and flattening them out. Here, I make sure to cover my pan um, for less cleanup. And you can see me roll these out, flatten them out, um, and kind of around the edges. So, of course, it doesn't have to be perfect. And there you go. Here you see all the patties are made and made about 10 patties. As you here, can see um, here, we have our grill getting ready to go. We I put our lamb burgers on. Um, these lamb burgers only need about two or three minutes per side. You do not want to overcook these, which I kind of did on the right over there. Um, but I got the other ones right. Um, you do not want to overcook them. Do not get distracted. Here we are. We're going to finally put our burgers together. Um, I made a homemade tzatziki sauce, which I probably will add the recipe later on if not you can just google a basic tzatziki sauce i use this instead of whatever you want mayo um, as your condiment um, i am putting down the red cabbage slaw um, and i will be also including this recipe um, and there is the lamb burger looking all perfect there it's kind of leaning a little bit and then we add our feta cheese, which you can melt or not melt. I chose not to melt it. And this is my lamb burger. Of course, next time I'll try to make it look a little better. But it was very tasty. And most of these ingredients came from Aldi. Here we are with my table all set up pretty. Ready for my family to eat dinner. And we've included a sweet potato that I also put on a grill. Grilled Brussels sprouts with a lemon. We have our Prosecco and our lemonade. And here we are with a beautiful table ready to chow down. Thank you.